Hey guys, thanks for tuning in. Today we're going to do an LSD conversion on this open differential. Step one is going to be to get this cover off. 16 mil bolts holding it on. So be ready with a drain pan. Next up, get a hammer and a punch. Looking at the side here, we gotta get these seals out. You're gonna need new ones when you're done this conversion. I'm using this off my three drop puller. They make special tools to pull seals and this looks very similar to it. That's why I opted to use it. Now we're going after this C-clip here. Wow, finally got it. These are some good quality pliers, but the tips weren't biting down. I had to use electrical tape, but finally got it. That was a big pain. Anyway, so you saw I tried two different ways there. The other way is not really good for putting it back in place after. It's gonna give me a hard time. So at least that worked. Can be a bit of a struggle, but if I had figured that out earlier, I'm sure it would have not been such a struggle. Those bearings just slide out now. So you really should try to get that from the outside, but I accidentally slid it in, so I was still able to get it out. So I'd recommend that you keep track of what bearing came from which side. Now we'll try to get this out of here. So just a word of warning when you're doing that, be careful that you don't nick up the bearing races. Next up, we're gonna pop all these off. They're all 19. So that's the ring gear removed now. Okay, so this is a super crude way of measuring because my device doesn't go all the way in there perfectly, but I believe it's 27.6. This is a 19 socket and it's measuring 27.8 and it barely, it just can't go. Here's another socket. It measures 27.5. So we'll put this in here. It should just barely clear. Not quite. So maybe 27.4. This is 26.3. So this should clear with some room to spare. Less than a mil. I know this is crude, but you know, they already give you guidelines. I'm just verifying. They do tell you exactly how much to grind it down, but I'm just making sure here. Okay, so this is a perfect fit. You don't have to fight it to go in, it just falls right in. It doesn't move, it doesn't have even, even a fraction of a millimeter place, perfect fit. And when I measure it, 27.2 actually. 
is where it just falls right into place. So right here. So it's approximately 27.2 or 27.1. I'm gonna see what they recommend in terms of grinding. The overall distance has to get to 32. According to the install guide, you need the measurement to be 32. And for this diff, you're supposed to grind off 2.45 mm off each gear. So let's do the math. Times two, 4.9 plus 27.1. Is 32 so that's perfect it makes sense because I have electrical tape on this with the square being perfectly straight when I pull it out and flip it and put it right here 27.1 so I trust their measurements it's perfect 2.45 off each gear here and here next up we got a get this gear out here, this pin. So I'm using a center punch. Come straight out. Take that gear. Take this gear. The shim goes behind it. And this, lastly this, and your shim. You actually got two shims here. And it seems like, seems like one of the shims is kind of like beveled. It's got a spring to it. And the other shim is just flat. So you go flat to a bit of a beveled shim. And I'm gonna try to keep these with the appropriate gear just for spacing. We'll set this aside. So as you can see, this is the surface that needs to be ground down by 2.45 mm. This part here is your axle flange. This has to be trimmed down by five millimeters and it has to be beveled after like this so you'll be able to insert it easily so you want to get that 45 degree angle and you want to reduce the length by five millimeters so five millimeters i'll have it end right about there according to the instructions as you can see five millimeters all right guys that's going to conclude this video this is part one once I get these back from the machine shop, I'll tell you how long it took and how much I paid. So you'll have an idea of what you'd be paying at your local machine shop to get this done. Hopefully it will be done within one day. We'll assemble everything, put this inside the carrier here, put the diff back together. And after that, I'll show you guys how to R&I one of these. I'll probably be part three. And then part four is gonna be me testing it and demonstrating if it worked out well. So if you guys are interested in one of these, uh, I will eventually, probably after I demonstrate this thing working, put a link in the description as to where you can buy it and hopefully with a discount, I may be able to secure a better price for you guys. So yeah, stay tuned for part two where we assemble this all back together. Thanks for watching and consider subscribing for more content like this I upload regularly.
Let's go.